What is up everybody, welcome back to the best channel on YouTube, this is Nerf Soldier Video Game Guy, and today, I'm going to be talking about my pros and cons of Super Mario 3D World and Super Mario Odyssey. I'm pretty sure I put 3D World ahead of Odyssey in my, like, thoughts of the last three or whatever Mario games. I might put a card in the corner if I don't, if I feel like it. Um, but today I'm going to focus on the pros and cons of each to compare them. I prefer Super Mario 3D World, but I go back and forth a lot. So let's just hop right in. I don't like that you have to find where to platform in Super Mario Odyssey. Like, it just feels like that, like, I play Mario to platform, not to explore. That's like, it should be its own series or something. Like... That's the lorry, I guess is the right word, of Mario is the great platforming in it. And it's not meant to really be that open world, even though I really like the open world. It's just not meant for that, and I don't like to go around searching for great pipes to go down to get into platforming areas. Odyssey has a lot of filler moons. Like, there is, like, I think 999, but it just feels like they had a lot. They put that many just so that we could say we have 999 moons. When really there's only, like, 300 and some, like, actually good moons. You know what I'm saying is what I try to say. And why do you have to get three moons after beating a boss when you could ground pound a few places and get three that way as well? It seems a little pointless. Sure, you have to beat the boss to get to the next kingdom, but it doesn't feel as rewarding when you beat the boss, because you only get three moons. When, like I said on my script here, that you could like ground pound in a few places, talk to some people, maybe do one little thing of platforming, and just like that you have three moons. When you have to do a lot of platforming and beat a boss to get three moons that way, it doesn't feel as rewarding. And level variety isn't quite as good in Super Mario Odyssey because, like, each kingdom kind of has a theme and it sits to that theme for the rest of the kingdom. We'll say a kingdom that has quite a bit of platforming, like the one, um, oh, uh, Sand Kingdom has quite a bit of platforming. The Snow Kingdom, both of those have quite a bit of platforming. Like, they have a dedicated theme. Well, like, when you go in the pipes, it's, like, nothing like a desert or snow. Actually, a few pipes in the Snow Kingdom, I think. It's still kind of snow theme, but not as much in Sand Kingdom. Or even Metro has a, quite a bit of platforming in that one as well. Oh, uh, what I was trying to say is, in, say, you, for example, you have ten worlds, or kingdoms, I guess I should say, in Super Mario Odyssey. And each one has one dedicated theme. If you stick to that, that only means you have 10 different themes of platforming. One 3D world, it has probably right around the same amount of themes, but there's only one level in that world that really has that theme, like generally speaking, like World Bowser is what I was saying. There's a few different levels that have that same theme, like that World Bowser theme. So that's why I like it, because there's more variety of levels and like no level is really similar, at least when you get out of regular worlds, there's a bit of repeats. Oh, and in Super Mario Odyssey, coins actually matter. You don't just get one-ups, or you can just get one-ups from the Infinite Light glitch in Super Mario 3D World. Is it a glitch, or is it just like a Easter egg? I don't know. But coins matter because you can buy stuff. And you don't have lives, but you do still have a hit system like every other 3D Mario game. Well, except 3D Land, 3D World, I guess. Like, you lose 10 coins, and each time you lose 10 coins, that's 10 coins less you can spend at the crazy, crazy cap or whatever it's called. Oh, and I was just kind of saying, this outfit's in Super Mario Odyssey. There's a lot of them. I always love that customization, kind of like I do with Breath of the Wild. And the Cappy Bancana is so cool in Super Mario Odyssey. Like, you can throw it, jump on it, it's tons of different moves. Like, it just has basic actions, and there's like a whole screen full of actions. 
you can do, and you can, like, turn into different things. It's just such a cool concept, and I feel like there was some really like, unfinished business with Nintendo in that mechanic, so that's why I feel like it's kind of waiting for a Super Mario Odyssey 2 sequel may in the next year or two. Better level variety in Super Mario 3D World. I was kind of talking about that earlier when I was saying that each world has only about one level in that world that fits the theme of the world. How many times did I just say world? I don't know. I don't Who knows in this world? I meant to do that one. But I know one person was complaining because like there might be an ice kingdom but only one level actually has ice and the rest just has like grass plains in a haunted house. Like I don't mind that. Like I see what they're saying but I, that's the what I like about Super Mario 3D World is because there's so many different levels. Like, like, like I said earlier, there's like barely a repeat of the same level or anything similar to it in the entire game. And it has multiplayer that I absolutely butcher the spelling of in my script. Holy crap. But it has multiplayer, that's really fun. I know like the camera can be a bit bad in Super Mario 3D World multiplayer, but I s it has multiplayer, just like a uh, 2D Mario game would, like Super Mario Bros. More rewarding to find a star in Super Mario 3D World. What I'm saying by this is like those are completely optional things to get the stars and stamps, the green stars to be specific. Those are completely optional, so when you get it, it feels more rewarding when you collect it, because in Super Mario Odyssey, you have to get the moons to progress to the next kingdom, so when you get it, it's not quite as rewarding, because in 3D World, that's just something optional, and that's like a bonus, you know. Um, so I like that a lot, and it's just extra things to do, like I've been trying to... 100% each world now, 3D world. And it's my most played game on the Wii U with over 100, it's like 170 hours, which really isn't a lot since I've had that game for over 5 years now. But whatever. Uh, and there's a lot of strategy in 3D world, because what I mean by that, there's uh, 4 players, 4 players, well, if you, if you include the guy that's in the title, 5, but let's be real here. Who uses Mario? Like, I know. Like, Rosalina has, is good because, because um, she has that spin attack. So if some areas you would want that, you can have it. And you can, like, jump and use that to get a little boost. But she's kind of slow. And, like, Peach is the same way. She can hover for, like, difficult platforming to, like... My camera just shut. <laughs> for difficult platforming, you can readjust your jump with Peach. But, again, she's very slow. What's with the females in that game being so slow? And Toad is extremely fast, but he can't jump for beep. So, like, I rarely use him, but, like, in that Mario Circuit level in uh, World 2, like, if you have the game, go play that right now, because it's some of the best levels in the game. And, er, that is one of the best levels in the game, is what I was trying to say. But use Toad. If you don't use Toad, why play that level? It's such a fun level. Okay, I'm getting off topic here. But like Toad can't jump, but he's very fast. And Luigi has a like a long jump. Well not that type of long jump, but his jump is longer than the other people's. And it's higher. But he has pretty meteor speed. So it kinda evens out. And Mario is pretty much like the not as good version of all of them, kind of like Super Mario 3D Land as it is the Super Mario 3D World. Shots fired. Um, but that I th oh jeez, that was a bad voice crack. <laughs> jeez. Um, but that is definitely gonna end this video. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff. And thank you for getting me another subscriber. I know I'm pretty late to saying this, but I now up to 24. Thank you very much. It means so much to me. And 
that's definitely going to end this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff. But this has been Nerf Soldier V Game Guy. Can't say that video won't take a lot of editing. Holy crap.